Welcome back. Today we're diving into California's High Speed Rail Project, a transformative initiative aimed at revolutionizing travel across the state. This ambitious plan isn't just about reducing commute times, it's about sustainable, forward-thinking infrastructure that meets the demands of the 21st century. The California High Speed Rail Project spans across the state, but our focus today is on the 115-mile Merced to Sacramento segment. This part of the project, though relatively short, plays a vital role in the larger network, bridging key cities in the Central Valley and connecting to the state's capital. Once completed, it will help form the backbone of an interconnected high-speed rail system for California, linking major urban centers and regional communities alike. So, why is this project so important? The California High-Speed Rail Authority emphasizes several goals for this segment, such as reducing travel times, offering a sustainable alternative to car travel, and stimulating economic growth along the route. By creating an efficient, zero-emissions transit option, the project aligns with California's long-term environmental and economic goals, paving the way toward a cleaner future. Linking these Central Valley cities with a high-speed rail system could attract new businesses, create jobs, and foster economic opportunities that enhance the quality of life for residents. In fact, studies suggest that high-speed rail corridors tend to boost local economies by attracting investment, increasing property values, and encouraging development around stations. Additionally, this will help to cut down greenhouse gas emissions by reducing the reliance on vehicles and offering a cleaner, faster transportation option. Environmental responsibility is a top priority for the California High Speed Rail Authority. The Merced to Sacramento segment has been carefully planned with extensive environmental reviews that evaluate construction and operational impacts on ecosystems and nearby communities. The goal is to minimize disruption to natural habitats and agricultural lands, ensuring the project's environmental footprint remains low. Furthermore, California's commitment to clean, renewable energy means that the high-speed trains will run on sustainable power sources, making them an even more eco-friendly option for travelers. Public feedback has played an important role throughout this process. The authority has conducted numerous community meetings to keep locals informed and engaged, encouraging residents to participate in the planning process. This dialogue has allowed the authority to incorporate regional values and address local concerns, making this high-speed rail project a more inclusive endeavor. Building a high-speed rail system like this requires cutting-edge technology. The California High-Speed Rail will feature state-of-the-art trains capable of speeds up to 220 miles per hour. For the Merced to Sacramento route, the goal is to optimize track design for safety and efficiency, ensuring that high-speed rail can operate smoothly and safely across different terrains and settings. Of course, large-scale projects face challenges, and the Merced to Sacramento segment is no exception. Funding delays, logistical complexities, and construction concerns have impacted timelines and project milestones. The California High-Speed Rail Authority is actively working with state and federal governments to secure the funds necessary for completion. Securing reliable funding is crucial to moving the project forward, particularly as the authority seeks to navigate issues like inflation and fluctuating material costs. Land acquisition is another hurdle, as it often is in infrastructure projects of this scale. Acquiring the rights of way for tracks and stations while respecting private and public land has been a balancing act. In this case, it's not just about laying down tracks. It's about doing so in a way that respects the unique characteristics of California's communities. Beyond faster travel, the Merced to Sacramento segment promises substantial economic benefits for the Central Valley, historically an underrepresented region in California's economic development. A high-speed rail connection could drive tourism, increase local spending, and provide residents with enhanced access to job opportunities across the state. For example, agricultural producers may find it easier to transport goods, and local businesses may benefit from an influx of visitors and new residents attracted by the ease of high-speed rail travel. The current phase of the Merced to Sacramento segment emphasizes environmental planning and preliminary engineering, with the goal of progressing toward construction in the coming years. However, completion timelines remain flexible, as they depend on sustained funding, community engagement, and strategic planning. As part of California's phased approach to high-speed rail development, incremental progress is being made step-by-step -step to bring this vision closer to reality. High-speed rail is more than just a project. It's a symbol of California's commitment to sustainable growth and innovative infrastructure. As the state works toward completion, segments like Merced to Sacramento lay the foundation for a faster, greener, and more connected California. 
This project represents a future where convenience, economic growth, and environmental responsibility coexist in a powerful way, reshaping California's transportation landscape. If you're as excited about California's high-speed rail as we are, consider getting involved. Visit the project's official website for updates, public meeting schedules, and opportunities to share your input. Infrastructure projects like these benefit greatly from public engagement and feedback, helping create a system that truly reflects the needs and values of the communities it serves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos on the future of transportation. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on the high-speed rail project and whether you think it'll reshape travel in California.